Hey, yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day, feeling blessed, and like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. With that being said, I want to thank everybody for giving me their best advice yesterday on my last video. really want to focus on my health and focus on my growth and focus on my welfare. It's very important to me, man. I'm trying to spend as much as days as possible watching my son grow up and my stepkids, you know, become what they need to become in this world. So, subscriber hit me with a question. It's been long overdue on this question. Thought I'd get into it. With that being said, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. Always leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check the links in the description, man. You might see the Amazon wish list right there. Your birthday boy wish. Y'all feel me? The question was kind of like a question, more of a comment. It was very long, so I'll just break down it real quick. He was kind of saying, like, why are actives, you know, sometimes in the comment section on all these YouTube channels acting like poor sports? They don't want to admit, you know, what all these other channels, when it comes to corrections, correctional officers admitting this and, and convicts, people like me that have been in this situation. We all have different stories, but the same concept and message about what takes place behind the walls when it comes to actives and SNYs. That why they're always quick to justify with like, and if, because of this, this, and this, and that. That why are they not being realists? Like, it's okay to be, love where you're from and what you represent, but just also recognize and be real about, you know, what we've all been talking about. See, here's the thing. This is something that these guys firmly believe in. And I understand it because I've been on that side of the fence. I understand what it's like to not really point out your own flaws and recognize your own errors because you're too busy believing in the concept behind it. See, somebody asked me, what's the difference between the cause and the struggle? See, there really is no difference. The cause is just a it's a, a, it's a generalized meaning of what we have done for ourselves, the cause of all of this. All we did was turn the, the, the term cause into our acronym and gave us the concepts that we firmly believe that we set the foundation on, which was carnalismo, awareness, unity, security, and education. We believe that those were the primary concepts for the cause of our branching off from the Mexican mafia and creating the familianos, the Norteño struggle. You got to remember, when the familianos created the mob and they got slammed down in 1972 doing indeterminate shoe terms and realized that the rest of the hand that they were trying to protect and defend and recruit from began getting mistreated and ostracized and abused by the Mexican mafia since they were still on the main lines. They needed a cause to recruit these other individuals who were seeking the embracement from the organization and the help and guidance, thus creating Nuestra Raza. So the term cause just means why we caused this to happen, why we caused this to do this. It's very general, other than just the, the applying the acronyms and what it actually means. The struggle in itself is because the story and the history and the timeline from the Familianos, then the birth of the NR, then ex Soldados, and then Hermanos, and then dismantling and abolishing that era, creating a new era of Ensols and Norteño and, no and Northerners, and then that becoming a different era where it's only Norteños and Familianos. It's all been a struggle. A struggle meaning, you know, this is what we're doing, this is what we're striving for, this is what we're sacrificing for, that it wasn't going to be easy. So we identified it as struggle because on a consistent basis, we were dealing with hardships, we were dealing with punishments, we were still dealing with mistreatments. We're still dealing with being treated unequal by the Mexican Mafia and Sureño faction. Because they won't admit it out loud, some might, based on the peace treaty and the end of hostilities, they still look at us like we're inferior, or the homie should I say. They still think they're above. A lot of people still speculate, you know, who's the biggest and powerful organization of them all. A lot of people, a majority of opinion says the black hand, you know, overpowers the homies. But to the homies, the familianos and the brothers and the norteños, they feel like, you know, they're better than them. They're, they're just as superior, if not more superior than them because of the message and the timeline and the history behind why the people from up north were created in the first place. You know, we were warriors, birthed out of warfare. So it's kind of hard to rid somebody of their belief system and, t and ask them to admit that they're wrong. Even after all, every other YouTube channel and every other person that's 
illustrated it realistically and how it all goes down. They're not going to, there's, there's no such thing as self-admission to these guys. And so don't expect it from them neither. Because if you think about it, I'm going I'm to break it down to you in a different concept. Say you had a kid and your kid wanted to play sports. And as much as you know, sports is a competitive field and say your child is not that great, is not progressing, can't seem to elevate. He gets better and better throughout time, but he hasn't reached his best. He doesn't perform well like some of the better players. Always wonder why he never gets MVP or the first place. I mean, you don't tell your child, hey, bro, you kind of suck. Hey, bro, you, you're, you're, you're not as good as them. You'll never be as good as them. What are you going to tell your child? Just keep going, man. Keep trying, man. Uh, we're winners, not quitters. You know, you're still going to encourage them to perform at their best. So that's what they're doing. They still believe in it. They still believe in the ideology. They still believe in the dream. They still believe in a cause and struggle that eventually them goals and objectives are going to be reached. And that moral obligation is just one big blindfold to the realities that they wish not to see. So when all of us on YouTube and everybody else that's talking about the realities of what takes place, you know, the abuse of, of leadership, the mistreatment of the gente, the cannibalism and genocide of our own gente due to prison politics, due to these man-made mandates on a constant basis through all these changes. To them, they're still going to believe that this is all for the betterment. This is the sole purpose. This is the struggle. This is what we do. They can't acknowledge it because that's just admitting that they're wrong for what they've done. You can never expect the active to admit that they're wrong for what they're doing. And to recognize the errors of their ways, to recognize the mistakes, to recognize what they're, to recognize that they need to be accountable for everything that they've done wrong. Because to them, each and every one that they put on this side, on the SNY side, had it coming. But I promise you, when they end up on this side, they're going to never admit that they had it coming. I was able to admit that I had it coming. I recognized what I did wrong. But they're not going to be able to admit that until they get placed in the predicament that some of us on the SNYs have been done dirty. Then we'll see what they say then. But in the meantime, they're not going to falter on their belief system. And the sad reality is of is they can make all the excuses they want on these channels to one another, to the opposing team. But everybody knows the truth. See, my, a lot of my YouTube videos does talk about the bad. Only because if I continue to talk about the good in which I have and which I will continue to do so soon when I break down the bonds, all 14 of them. It's because I'm just trying to show the kids that, look, man, there's a lot of good in things, but you also got to recognize all the bad. And sometimes the bad outweighs the good. Oftentimes, you can't always believe it's something and believe it's righteous when you know it ain't righteous because you're just lying to yourself. Now you're going to go through life with a lot of disbelief. In a misguided direction, thinking that everything you're doing was for the sole purpose of a righteous cause and struggle. Until you're the one that gets done dirty in the process. And then you're going to end up on my side with a lot of resentment, seeking revenge, with a lot of hate. And all those three traits alone are very unhealthy and very unstable to the mind frame that you're going to need to develop once you're on the SNY side. Because you're going to have two options. Either you continue your life with peace and tranquility and just go about it and leave the past to the past or you're going to become the person that I wanted to become and just become vengeful become hateful retaliate only to lead yourself down that same path that you got done dirty for dirty from in the first place and then back in the same position in which you replaced yourself in the first place for believing the wrongful ideas of righteousness that they taught you that they brainwashed you to believe and just do it all over again and just waste the rest of your life as if you haven't already acknowledged the fact that you wasted your life in the first place. So don't ever expect an active to admit any wrongdoing. Because to them, everything had a purpose. Everything had a reason. This carnal, this elder, this hermano, this familiano, this mafioso. All did it with good intentions. For righteous reasons. But see, I guess nobody understands the concept and meaning behind the term propaganda and brainwash and subtle manipulation and subtle tactics of manipulation because they're too strong in their belief system. So you can't really knock somebody for being strong and firm in their belief system. 
they're allowed to be firm believers because I've been a firm believer. And it took me getting my lips ripped open, the top of my head ripped open, and the little puncture wounds on my arms and my ribs to give me a clear indication that what you're doing is wrong. What they're doing to you is wrong. Everything that you believe in, that righteousness, that brotherhood that you seek so much your whole life, was wrong. Sometimes you need these kind of circumstances and you need to be placed in these kind of predicaments for you to open your eyes. Now, I don't wish that upon any active out here. You know, if you want to continue to be active and push that agenda, so be it. Do it to the best of your ability. Go full-fledged with it. Don't half-step it. Don't have one foot in, one foot out. Because I've been in your position. And I've admitted it before, man. If I wouldn't have got done dirty, I'd probably still be active right now. But I also recognize even then when I was active that a lot of this was wrong. But back then, you know, betrayal wasn't an option. Until they betrayed me, then I realized, man, now I have my own sense of individuality. Now I can think from all angles instead of being so one-sided and had that tunnel vision of what they told me to believe and I just believed it. I got the opportunity to start believing for myself and start thinking for myself. That's why I became so analytical and I scrutinized everything about my life and realized everything was wrong. So then I wouldn't necessarily say that calling them poor sports. Because I'm not going to sit there and put down all these actives because I do have a lot of active subscribers that actually support me. You just can't really knock an individual for his own personal belief system. Until they get done dirty, they have every right to continue to believe in what they believe in and discredit us. In the same sense that I've been discredited some of their, their ways of life, their ways of living, and their ways of thinking. It's going to be a back and forth thing. But see, my, I'm not talking on behalf of actors and I'm not talking on behalf of S and Y's. I'm just talking from my personal experience and to these kids out here who are really watching and really paying attention in hopes that they get their eyes opened up before they actually get hit with a rude awakening when they're in that cell getting hit with those puncture wounds and almost losing their life. That's been my overall message. So I really can't pay attention to the quote unquote poor sport analogy that you provided when it comes to actives and other people actives are going to be actives s and y's are going to be s and y's pos's are going to be pos's you know everybody's going to have their own perspective their own insight their own opinions and their own belief system all i could do is just sit here and talk to the individuals who are still going down this path and might be second guessing it you know i'm gonna give them that little extra push to let them know like go ahead and take another route it'll be in your best interest because I don't want anybody to end up in the position that I that I got placed in and that I'm in now. So with that being said, I hope I answered your question to the best of my ability. And like I always say, it's one life, one chance. When you got one chance to do this right, let's get it done. Peace.